and girls, welcome to Monday night, 6 30 through to 8 with the Talk and Talk Show. And uh, we've got a fair whack to talk about tonight, girls and boys, haven't we? Mm, sponsored by Tamworth Small Affordable Cars. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much indeed. Well, with great sadness, obviously, we're going to uh, mention Richard Sweeney, who sadly passed away last week. A blue nose, never got to meet him myself personally. But he was one of us, and obviously he did a lot. And he was, uh, well, we've been talking about uh, beforehand, and he was one of the top bloke as well. So, uh, Richard Sweeney, your family and your friends are in our thoughts tonight. And in this week's episode, we have Nick Spore, Paul Hipkiss, Craig Courtney, Mark Adams, Mark Meredith, Claire Giblin, Alan Watton, and myself, Chris Brown. Birmingham City cannot win a game. We were sixth in the league. With John Eustace, six, six. I think the night last time I looked, we were eight inks, one point out of 15. Claire, you went up to Sunderland, didn't you? Yeah. Sum up your weekend, Chug. Uh, well, I, I did have a lovely weekend. Um, I think all the fans that were down there, we went with optimism. Um, I think I'm not going to be all negative because I think it's too negative at the moment in general. Um I've, I've got to admit their poppy display was outstanding. Oh, I think wow, the actual wow, wow. minute yeah. silent was probably one of the best um, I've ever been to. I think everybody was impeccable, so fair play to both fans. On the pitch, it was a slightly different story. They came at us. We gave them far too much space. Um, we respected them far too much. We all knew that Job was going to score. He didn't celebrate, even though everybody's telling me that he did, but he didn't. Um, and I think that was class from him as well. We were just really sloppy with the ball again. So whenever we we attacked, we did look decent and we looked like we could do something. To be fair, it could have been 3-3 three, three at half time. It was end to end. It was the second ball. <laughs> he always seemed to ricochet off us and go straight back to them while they had the, the look. Um, it was a decent goal by Miyashi, but I don't know where Wayne Rooney is with defending, but if he thinks that's outstanding, <laughs> I am really worried. Considering, you know, you've got Ashley Cole and John O'Shea, who I know, OK, they're not like the best defenders because, you know, Ashley Cole was good going forward. But if you've got some world-class like defensive players who have played, I'm really worried about the defensive side. I mean, like you said, Craig, we didn't really have one. <laughs> and I think it's even on corners. And I just think Sanderson looks like a broken man, even the way he spoke. Yeah. And it's just such a shame because, you know, there's some really, we've got some really top class players in there. I mean, Laird was brilliant again. James was good. We just lack something, and it's such a shame. We went all the way there expecting, and, yeah, I just think we just gave them too much of the ball. How many Birmingham fans were there, Claire? Um, I think there was about 1,500, I think. Right, OK, because they were, they, were, they were making a fair noise. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, we so were loud. Yeah. Um, yeah, I yeah, think, yeah. All, you know, we got, we got behind them. Mm-hmm. Um, we got behind them. When we scored, it was like a relief. We, just when the second goal came, like they hit the bar, they hit the post, you know. Yeah, I know. And I then the thing it. is, um, there was booze when he took Jay off. <laughs> you know, we're two one down. We need a goal. He brings Hogan and Yuki on. Bit we were all a bit, and there was booing. Um, but I mean, we did make a fair bit of noise. Had a few people message me going, "Is there how many? Is there like three thousand? But no, that's right. That's right. That's that's mm-hmm. kind of what I was thinking about three thousand. I'm thinking, my goodness, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, you're yeah. you're you're absolutely right. Then I'll take you back to um, uh, the the start of that game or before the start of the game, and that poppy gesture was. I've got massive mm-hmm. goosebumps. That poppy yeah. gesture was just absolutely yeah. superb. Yeah. And uh, well, congratulations to Sunderland for doing that. The one yeah. at Birmingham was absolutely brilliant as well. And uh, you know, we'll make continue. We'll make continue. Um, who did you go up with? Um, I went up with my mum, but then we meet um, Lindsay, Terry and Robin. Um, I did meet someone um, at the hotel. He does watch this show. I'm so sorry that I never got your name. Um, But he was like, you know, he said about Tilt and Talk show. But he was eating breakfast and I was going to get mine. So, but yeah. um, Yeah, I met the Punjabi Blues lot as well. So they were great guys too. 
yeah so it was just it was you know we were all optimistic it's just a shame that we just couldn't get a result so but we go on to our next Saturday but the Saturday after and hopefully with two weeks he can sort the defence out does anyone think does anyone, does anyone here think needs to change like to suit the players that we've got because the way he's trying to get us to play I don't think suits the players we've got you've got to play to the player strengths that you've got and I just don't think at the moment he's doing that and you know they're, they're doing their best out there but they just don't look comfortable in this system and when we had John Eustace obviously I know he didn't get you know I'm, I'm not saying we'd be seventh still now after after all these games but at least we had a bit of an identity on the pitch you know what I mean We look, he, he was playing to the strength of the players that we had in the 4-2-3-1 and we were scoring he more goals he did play that I know, yeah, but we're, he's yeah. got the fullback, so when he's going further up, mm. and he's trying to play more pressing, Claire, and it just don't suit the players. And you know, we're getting we're getting undone in defence a lot more easily than what we did when Eustace was here, and we're scoring a lot less goals than what we did when Eustace was here. Yeah. So, you well, know, think- if he wants to play this way, that's fine. But I would say, Paul, Paul, yeah. any yeah. any manager, any manager worth his salt, the first thing you'll do, you'll work out a system for the players he's got. Yeah. It's the first thing he has to do. Well, he hasn't done that. Mm. No. Now, if come January we sign a number of players and they can play to his system, that will be fine. But yeah. that's two months away. Yeah. That's two months away. And we're we're in the soft and smelly. Yeah. You know, we can't win a we we can't win the toss, I don't think, let alone win a game. Now we've got to we've got we've got international fullbacks and international centre-halves coaching our team. And since they've come in, we have got worse, mm, not that's... better. Absolute. We, 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 um, six weeks ago, we would come on here and say, well, you know, we got the best defence, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we, we've got a, a, a bloke out of the Italian league, can't get a game uh, because uh, Long, Long was keeping him out and, and Sanderson was magnificent. What a great captain he is. Two fullbacks that were top, top class. Now they look like a bunch of no opus. Even Laird got skinned at the end. Mm. The third well, goal. Do you, do you think it would have been a better, um, a better scenario had the boards and the directors of, 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 of waited? Perhaps until the Christmas period, until the January window was upon us, almost absolutely have made do. this change. Um, uh, but then, what if the uh, John Eustace would have would have uh, you know what if, what if we would have been in position three right now? I don't know where would we be with fourteen more points now. I don't know off the top of my head. I wouldn't have I, said we would have got any more. I don't. I don't know about. I think the whole game probably we might have got a result but with all the other teams they are flying at the moment I know Sunderland have had a bit of a dip but out of all these games was anyone expecting anything to me it's the lack of passion and the lack of everything I mean they were coming forward and our defenders were running back towards our own goal and we were like go towards them and literally if you go towards them make it hard for them I I can't see how long did you give Wayne Rooney at the helm well, I already know he's in till... For, he, he's not expected anything no, no, this no, season. No. I'm, I'm talking from Claire's point of view. How long from my you point of view, um, yeah. I think you give him the tran- January transfer window oh. and then you see what happens because th- he's in. This is the end. That, that's it. We, we He's in. That He's not Mark. going to go anywhere. He's got no pressure this season. Mark, well, he's, uh, he's, I'd, I'd say the same. I'll say till Christmas. Because he's not going, like Claire said, he's not going anywhere. I mean, it's all right, people... No, I didn't on. say he was going anywhere. Well, I want to no. take it from a fan's point of view. As how long would you give him? I'd give him till Christmas. Right, Because Christmas. I think five, yeah, five okay. games. Craig Courtney. He's got a three-year contract, so he's here he, for three he, years. But, oh, yes, but what I'm saying is, from a fan's point of view, how long would you give him? Three years. I look at it this way, right, and I've seen loads of arguments around uh, why you should go... Why you shouldn't? I'm not be saying here. you should go. No, no, no. So just just to put it into perspective, right? And I read a really good notes on our message board. Um, it was it was post. I think it was yesterday afternoon, and it, it clarifies a few things, including stats, right? So leading up to the dismissal of John Eustace, and if you take the two games out of it, he took two points out of fifteen leading up to the two games that he took points from and won, right? So up until Huddersfield and West Brom. He'd taken two points out of 15. And at that point in time, fans called for his head. 
Mm. He got two that- results and two wins, and everything went quiet. Now, at that point of two points in 15, I think we all can be realistic and know that the decision was that he was going. I think at that point in time, he was on borrowed time and he was, he'd already, in, in fact, arguably, he'd already gone. Well, yeah, I, I can't go back to, to, to the Eustace era now because that's, that's no, over. We, we've, got a, we've got a, I mean, the first 15 minutes, we looked atrocious. After that, up until half time, there were spells again of us being half decent. But at the weekend, the problem, plain and simply, was the defence. The rest, the rest of the team actually put in a stint. Sunich yet again was was a proper workhorse in midfield, and he's never going to be this world beater. that's going to give us fantastic balls through the middle and everything else. But he worked hard, and the defence were at fault for all of the goals. There is there is no other excuse. Um, I, I, I I I'll same as same as Claire, and as we said at the beginning. I'm baffled by the the comments of we were excellent in defence. That uh, and and I I cannot I, I just don't understand that that little that that statement. But you know, in terms of there's a proper split in the fans, uh, and there shouldn't be, including I can say right, I got friends who absolutely detest him and have, have messaged me. Have you had enough? He's got to go and everything else. Right, Rooney is going nowhere. He's going absolutely nowhere. We, he'll have the January window. Um, unless the club make an absolute drastic decision, then I still see him being here next summer. And mm. moving forwards, I think the, the, the fraction that's there is because of uh, uh, the way things occurred. I don't, th- and, and also, to be honest, I don't think he could go away now and win 10 games and have the backing of every single fan at the club because people just simply do not like Wayne Rooney. Sorry, if he won 10 games on the trot, mate, he'd be my hero. Absolutely, he would. Yeah. would yeah. Nick, that, that's that's the case with yourself, but there are a, a minority of fans yeah, no, I'll, I'll get you. matter I'll get you, what I'll get you. he does. Yeah, Mark, what would you say, Mark? He's not going anywhere, you know, and I, it's a shame because he is, he's fighting... He's fighting what's happening on the pitch. He's fighting the fans and getting the back in. But ultimately, everybody just keeps on going back. And I've seen too many things, too many people saying, let's go back to where we were. I saw comments of Rowitz out of work getting back. Yeah, no. Maybe <laughs> no. the last time a Birmingham City manager left the club and come back. Yeah. I can't, Ooh, right. um, in, in my reason. lifetime, I can't remember that happening, to be honest with you. Mm. Rami yeah. was sacked because he was trying to get rid of all these players and get his own mates in. Mm. But there's a reason for all of them being sacked. I just think that people don't like him, so they're going to want to have him out because it's reminding everyone of the Zola era. Well, mm. just got to give him a bit of a chance. Is, it, is, it, is, is is anyone getting the Zolas though? Because I'm not on about off the field. On the field, are we, are we getting the Zolas yet? Because we're playing yeah. well, we're creating chances, we're looking dangerous going forward, but we're, but we're losing most games. You know, we've lost four in yeah, five. Absolutely, I, I, I agree. Just, with... I think Mark. Oh, yeah. Come in, Mark. Go yeah, on, Mark. sorry, I, I agree with you guys. Um, one, he ain't going to go anywhere, and we've got to back that. Um, secondly. You know, everything you've said about the game is the same defensively. That's what worries me is that he came out in front of the TVs at the end and, and said the statement of it being excellent. And I think it was way, way, you know, beyond that. Um, I think we were really poor defensively. And, um, you know, I, I feel like I'm echoing myself every week and repeating, but I still feel on from a coach's point of view, if you are going to play your fullback so high, then bring in Long, bring in Roberts, play three centre-backs not pretty fans don't like it but I think it just it takes away that pressure of the two centre backs listen Sanderson I love Sanderson he's our captain he's he's been great for us um, he wants it well he did want it seems a little bit more lower in himself right now but I think that's a confidence thing and then that's a trust thing with Rooney and Sanderson isn't the footballing footballer if you know what I mean there. he's not a player and he has never been a player that gets it at his feet and tries to pass it around He's got his strengths. We've talked about it so many times on The Messenger. You've got to play to these players' strengths. Sanderson's strength is to defend, clear the ball, and be a solid rock at the back. It's not for him to try to play the Van Dyke style of getting the ball and trying to pass it around. But I just feel you play three at the back, you can then let um, Laird and 
Drenham or Longello or Buchanan, whoever it's going to be, go forward and enjoy themselves with a little bit more protection behind them. I think the problem is right now is we're getting caught out because they're expecting Sanderson and Ayu to do too much. They're trying to do all the backline work and they, they, they don't know their positions. And the problem is then Longello, uh, sorry, um, Dranham and, and Laird are always in a two minds. They don't know if to go forward. They don't know if to stay. And and by the time they make the decision, it's too late because these teams are just picking us off. You know, you look at most of the goals we've conceded in the last four weeks, it's come from the left or the right flank because yeah. they're just picking us off in the spaces behind that we're leaving because we're trying to go forward too quick. If you watch Man City, Man City do it, but they have two of the best centre midfields in the world. They can sit back and support the two centre-backs. Unfortunately, yeah. we don't have that. Mm. You know, that's, that's a different that's story. The that's the problem, isn't it, Mark? I think Rooney and obviously Ashley Cole and John O'Shea are trying to get us to play probably as well as what they used to. And these players, 100%. they're not as good as what they were. That's the thing. So, no, um, also, Paul, I wonder what the wage bill is for them three. Yeah. Well, exactly. But yeah. I'm not saying this can't work, though, by the way. It's only been five games. I'm not, I'm not saying it can't, but the frustration of, of, of going from six and yeah. earning one point. In, was it five games? Sick, mm. huh? a fictitious, a fictitious sick. We but were we punching. Were sick. Sorry, the we, were punching. we were sick, Craig. Yeah. We were <clears> punching well <throat> above our weight, and at that but point, we were six, and the table doesn't lie. Mm. Now we were eighteenth, and the table still doesn't lie. But we, we had a bit, three, we had a bit of momentum, though. Didn't we score in seven goals in two games? Yeah, yeah. we've conceded. We we conceded eight goals in the last three games all of which have been scored inside the six-yard box. Yeah. That, that's the worrying thing, though, isn't it? They're not narrow. Absolutely. If somebody if they're not one in from 25 yards, fine. Mm -hmm. You know, but yeah. they're getting tap-ins. They're getting tap-ins. That's true. Craig, the, the message board has gone mm. absolutely bonkers. You want to run, it's run through gone, a It's gone mental, yes. Yeah, so to read out a few of the uh, of the comments. Um, so, I, I mean, th there's one that's not long uh, come through, and uh, it, it's in regards to the actual way we're doing things is from Mark Morgan and Mark, Mark said is can anybody explain why he has given the players most of this week off when himself he has said he needs time on the training ground and I think you know the only thing for me is they need time to yes agree on the training ground but they also need time for a break I think they the players themselves need to potentially get away from things because the negativity that's coming from fans is huge and that does rub off so, you know, don't know why he's given most of that time off, but uh, I, I agree that they need to, to have a break. From the negativity, the... Craig, that's coming from fans is because yep. of the negati negativity of lack of results. Absolutely. And, <laughs> uh, and uh, O'Shea, O'Shea and Ashley Cole, Cole are, are off with England and Ireland. They, they can't do it if, if, if they were all there tomorrow morning. They couldn't do anything because they're off, they're off. going somewhere else. So we might as well give typical, the players typical time, Birmingham City, you know. time time half, and I'd say I'd say to them all, you know, fuck it off, fuck it off to the sunshine for a couple of days, go, go, go to go to Dubai or whatever, uh, get away from it, and then we'll come back Wednesday, Thursday, and we'll be working all weekend to the follow, to the to the next game, and and hopefully, hopefully we'll see some improvement, but. That's what's getting to me. Everybody says, how long are you <clears> going to give him? Well, at this rate, we'll be bottom of the league by the end of February, uh, by the end of uh, December. And we, we, you know, what happens if we, we, don't, we don't beat Sheffield Wednesday and, and Rotherham? Rotherham have just sacked their manager. Mm -hmm. wouldn't, wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be great if, if, if John Eustace turns up with Rotherham and skins us on our own pitch? That's, no. that's, what, I'm, that's what I'm worrying about. My, my. I, I know where you're coming from, what I mean, and that's it echoes some of the other comments that are on the board at the moment. And the, the one that's interested me is Shane Goff, and he's actually put, if I weren't a Blues fan, I'd really enjoy watching Blues in the last few games. The attacking <laughs> football has been really good. Unfortunately, the defence defense has been awful. I think it will change for the better, and the road ahead is bright. So... There's positivity there mm -hmm. from, from that uh, front. Jim Turner. I can, to I can only say, Craig, thank God we've got 19 points on the board already because we're playing Sheffield Wednesday next bottom of the league. Mm. Yeah, and we're going to go into the game and we're going to win. 
What, why, can't we beat what? Sheffield Wednesday? why can't we beat Sheffield Wednesday? Why can't we beat Sheffield Why can't we beat anybody? What? Because they're well, a better what team. Else, mate? Yeah. I tell you, I tell you why. We, um, of course, we can beat them, but the the point is, we may not. Exactly. We may not. Exactly. Our defense is shocking. You do think, yeah. Yeah. And next five games, because um, yeah, you know, it's only it's only five games, and the and the fixtures haven't felt nice for him. The way you know the time he's come in either. So I mean, you know. we, I mean, we, I, you know, give it another five games. We could be sat here with one point out of a possible thirty. Or yeah. on the other hand, we could be sat here with set another seven to ten I points. I think we'd be good for that. I think I, I, I don't I, think for a minute we will. I think we will. I think we'll win. A, you know, beat Sheffield yeah. or, or Rotherham. I can't see us lose. Are we going to win again at some point? That's what I'm trying to say. But we're expected well, well, to win. That. That's the I, problem. I, I find it um, a bit concerning though. After five games, you know, we've only scored what is it? Two goals? Three goals? You know, mm. so it's um, it is a mm. bit concerning. It, but let's in the next five games you know from now and hopefully we'll get more points than one if, if, we, score, if we score three goals in the next five games and we beat Sheffield Wednesday 1-0 and we beat Rotherham 1-0 are we going to be dancing and singing say we've turned the corner because we it isn't isn't it mm. okay if, if we do if we do what I won't even use his name the other guy did and score seven goals in two in two games and win two games then it might, everybody might be thinking, well, yes, it's, we've, we have turned the corner now. But I, can, I, cannot, I, cannot, I cannot see it. When the other bloke yeah. was in charge, I could see us sashing somebody, but I can't see, see us doing it yeah. now. But, do, but if you think about it, right, if you look at the old Arsenal team, uh, they used to sing 1 0 to the Arsenal. I'd rather win 1 0 every week. Yeah. I'm not win 5 0. No, no. But this is, this is the problem, though. So I think. He's got to work. There's got to be something to do with the defence as a problem. And I was, I've been discussing it with a few people that I know. Every team in the country, especially the ones in the Premier League, always looking for defensive players, a good centre back. Arsenal, for example. So Arsenal have sorted out their defence. Now look where they are. Every every good team has had a solid defensive. Um, partnership in the middle, two really good fullbacks and a decent goalkeeper. So I think if you if you start with the defence and sort that out, going forward we look fine. There's nothing wrong with our attacking play. It, it is sometimes hoofball sometimes because we're just launching it at Burke and Jay because they just go in behind. But I think you know I would rather win one nil every week. If you said to me every week we're going to win one nil and we're top half the table. I would take that better than a 4-0 win. Yeah. Well, you know, we we everybody else Which is what It points. would be our, our defence. Our defence is spot on. Every time we keep a clean sheet, we score one goal, we win. Yeah. Everybody's happy. But we Brilliant. don't. We score two goals and concede two. Sorry, Al. Three of the best managers I've ever seen down the Blues in my life so far were defenders. Bruce McLean yeah. and Chris Houston. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm all I'm all for attack is the best form of defence, but you can only do it when you've got the right players to do it. And at the moment, we don't have that. And all this rolling it out from Ruddy to the centre backs, back to Ruddy to the other centre half to the left back, back to the. Do you know what mm. I mean? I can't st- I can't stand watching it. Honestly, it just gives me anxiety watching it. Yeah. And you know, give the ball away then, and you know we're under pressure, and you know a couple it's of goals. not fun. No, yeah. no, it's, it's not fun at all to watch. But you know, it's more like a chore. Puts us under unnecessary pressure, I think. Um, even yeah. We could have easily lost that game, Paul. Five or six, six to one on, on the weekend. We could have easily lost that. I mean, they could have hosted the bar. Huh? Yeah, I know. Variety. I know. But even England, I mean, going to Southgate at England, he was playing rolling out from the keeper, yeah. wasn't he, to start with? And he's even he's come away from that now in the three centre halves. He, he doesn't do that anymore. You know, he right. started playing to the strength of the players he's got, and we've got a lot better. Hmm. So, Would you bring Robbo back? I'd love him back. Uh, uh, can, can you? Sort it out then, Paul, yeah. <laughs> Are you talking Have Robbo as in a coaching capacity or Robbo as in the long thrower? Oh, not the long thrower, no, he can Not Mark Roberts. Possible, but, um, <laughs> Louis yeah. Tony, I'd rather right. have Julia Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think um, Robbo on the training ground would be great as a defensive coach, but, you know, we've got Ashley... We, we have got Ashley Cole and John O'Shea there, though, who were... Uh, you know, all due respect to Robert, they were probably both better players than Robert. Hey, unfortunately, it's not working. I feel like 
I feel like we need like a blues presence though. I feel like yes, we need yeah. somebody who's and the, and a lot of people were saying this after the game. We need somebody who understands this club. Yeah. And at the moment, everybody's been to like Man United, Chelsea, Arsenal, you know, all these big teams. But actually, we're Bone City. We do things slightly different, and we've yeah. got a bit of a different passion. And I don't know whether we've lost that because. I know we've got Mike Taylor there, but you don't know what he's been told to do or say. Mm -hmm. And, you know, is he there because we haven't got another goalkeeper coach available? I don't know. But I feel like we need somebody to grab them and be like, come on, like, get, you know, you are good players, just show it. Yeah, if I put Robbo back, I'd go and fetch him now. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'd, drop, yeah. I'd drop him now at the training ground. Taxi Robbo. Taxi Robbo. He would have dropped him yeah. off anywhere. The, house is only, the, the uh, training ground is only around the corner from his house in Henley anyway, so... Go on then, Paul. That's your uh, job for this week. Yeah. 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 The, um, the, the, the only department uh, where they haven't changed coaches is the goalkeeping department. And that is the only, per, uh, the only part of our team that has maintained its... Uh, uh, efficiency, shall we put it that way? We've still got the best two goalkeepers probably in the league, uh, and the, p- the poor bloke on Saturday didn't know where he's coming or going uh, with with the with the with the people in front of him. But he still he still manage he still manages a, an expert ex expert performance every week mm. in in spite of the fact that we are, we're on the back foot all the time and. Going on about, I, I I agree a hundred. That that was that was the thing that got me annoyed. We had exactly what Claire describes. We had people from who'd been part of the club, were part of the city, well, whatever. They were aware of what Claire just said. You need that. This is Birmingham City. We do things slightly different. You know, you die for the badge and all that business. And we bring in outsiders who don't have any idea of what that's what what if you said to Ashley Cole you know uh let, let, let's have a Julian Dix at left back let's 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 have a Martin Granger at left back you know get us get us one of them he wouldn't know what you're talking about you know well no because I, I I used to play and I used to pass the ball and, and and they used to pass it to me and I have to go and tackle somebody once every once every half of the game you know uh you, you can see and, and Rooney was the same you know I scored I scored goals. I scored goals. I scored goals, but but he didn't score goals without having a. I mean, you know, think of Rio Ferdinand and and etc. 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 And Manchester United always had a bloody good defence. They never got any credit because I was, Manchester United already scored enough goals to win anyway. So then we've got, gone back. We've gone back Alan, to this tippy tuppy football at the moment, haven't we? Right. Yeah. And and we are Birmingham City. Right. We run through walls. Right. We're blood guts. Thunder, mud, and fury. Yeah, and we ain't got that at the minute. Well, we no. got the mud. Got the mud. That's for playing tippy tappy, but to get it forward, we're booting it forward to mm. Burke and Jay to run onto. So it's it's two different things. And Ruddy does not look comfortable. He's so confused about what to do, and then he gets into Sunjik, and then it's just the on Sunday he bounced off them all. It was like, you know, we Get they. Involved. Mm. It just, yeah, it was, it was just ridiculous. And the amount of time, I mean, Joe Bellingham had this one time where he got the ball, okay, he ridiculous. had at least five, ten seconds to look up, and he pinged it to their um, wingers. And their wingers, we know that um, Roberts is left-footed and that Clark is right. Everybody knows they'll cut in and shoot whenever they can. They must have done that about five or six times. And it was the fact that, you know, all the goals, again, were, like we've already said, were from the full-backs. And the one goal where Sanderson scored an own goal, he went over the bloke's head because he put his arm up saying it's going to go out. He headed it over Ruddy to tap it in. And we were all like, sometimes you can't manage those sorts of things. No, but no. I do think confidence is very, very low. And I don't know how he's going to get that back. That's well, going to be the quick problem. Question, yeah, yeah. Why do you think confidence is so low? Why? I think, well, when you lose five games, you know, when you've had five, you know, the oh. the type of games that we've had and you've been beaten on the road so many times, and as soon as there's a goal scored, heads go. You see it straight away. 
yeah. you know actually when we score it's like a relief it's more of a relief than a come on let's build on this yeah I just think I don't I don't know. I think that, you know, if he's come out and said, this is my first team, I'm not looking at the subs bench and when they come on, I'm not going, oh, actually, do you know what? He wants to play this. You know, like Dembele doesn't look like the, the signing he was at the start. Okay, another quick question, Claire. How First, much did the weekend cost you personally? Um, well, I stayed over and then, I don't know. I'm not quite sure how much personally, but I know that, you know... Possibly two to three hundred pounds. Um, yeah, about two hundred quid, probably. But I'll really? do it all over again, even for the same result. <clears throat> I know you would, and we all would, yeah. mate. You all would. And I've done it, yeah? Mm-hmm. But, 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 but... <clears throat> yeah. When it's costing you three hundred quid out of a wage, which is, like, yeah. considerably less than what a footballer gets, you know? Mm-hmm. Comes mm-hmm. a lot of money, doesn't it, again? I, I know, but I think knows that all of us do it for the love. Yeah. We all do it for the passion of, course, of it. Yeah, yeah. We all do it for the team. And we do it for, you know, seeing the people, the Blues family at the end of the day. And yeah. wherever happens, even if we're in League One, even if we're in League Two, we'd probably all do the same thing. We'll still would, do yeah. this show and everything else. Would, so yeah. Yeah. it will come good. It's got to at some point. We can't lose every single game. I just yeah. really hope he starts picking up points so that it starts to get back again. Definitely. And we've got to be optimistic. We're Bengal City here. We're not going to win the league. I don't think we're going to go down. I think we are too good to go down. But we'll go down. I just think we just need to have a bit of positivity and you know I know I can I can be negative but obviously after, you know at two, a couple of games like days after you go actually this was good this was good but it's pretty obvious what it needs to work on you just need mm. to do it yeah. if you more hate him love more hate him I I I want this to work I, of course I want it to work don't we all mm. we all want it to work but my goodness was it's just so frustration go on Paul Look, we're, we're in this position me. again yeah. just to yeah. give us hope Double. Michael Carrick had a disastrous start this season, didn't he? After mm-hmm. the first, what was it? Half a dozen games, seven games, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And have we seen him, would, 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 would we say we've seen improvements though since his no. first? Yes, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Very forward. Yeah. Got a, got a click at some point, hasn't it? It really yeah. has. You know, one of these games when we're against a bit of a lesser opposition, hopefully, like Sheffield Wednesday or Rotherham. I mean, Blackburn away, we, I can't remember us ever winning there in my life. I think Lee Novak scored or something, and I was about... Yeah, yeah. Guys, are going back years, isn't it? So we never really get a cup of tea there. I went to that game. Also, I mean, also, has he has he, has he he actually played with the best 11 yet? No, no. so Buchanan... Do we think Buchanan and Bielik coming back in could make a Anderson. difference? And, and, yeah, Anderson. And, and, and but George certainly the two, the two full-backs. But, but, but the, what he mustn't do... What he mustn't... I mean... Um, Lang had to come off in the end because he, he, his legs he'd gone yeah. he, he's been off he was gone he was taken off and, 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 and then they insulted us even more we put the young kid on Oakley and mm-hmm. instead of saying right we'll we'll we'll, we'll get, have a go at this young kid they took Clark off yeah. so we don't need we don't need to, we don't need to attack these anymore because they ain't going to do anything they, they yeah. took their best player off yeah. against yeah. Our, our, our youngster and I think he—that's a mm. kick in the goal, isn't it? You know. <laughs> yeah, well, that, well, actually, actually, Alan, it's, it's it's pretty good man management to be honest with team management. Of course, it is. Yeah. yeah. It, uh, this this guy ain't going to kick him up in kick, kick him up in the air. We'll take him off and rest him. We've won the game. Let's not even bother. What's everyone's opinions on Awu? Do we think he's an upgrade on Long, or do we? Think oh, million percent. Yes, oh, yeah. Yeah. I like him. Oh, yeah, he he can like move him. the ball. He can tackle. He's he's he at the moment is the one standing up. Yeah, in that he's, brought, he's, brought, he's brought like a he's brought like a foreign influence, hasn't he? And that, you know, mm-hmm. uh, a different way of seeing the game. He and can play really, the game. That really he can play wants. the game. That's, that's his, that's his upbringing. So, how many players now do we think we've got that can play this system that Rooney's trying to play? And how many players? Can do it. Bakuna, I, I think James Stansfield. I think Bukuna, half the Bukuna. team. Anderson, I'm looking forward to Anderson coming back. We can't say Buchanan yet, though, because we haven't seen him. And, and yeah, my no. biggest worry is with Buchanan is that if he has to play the style that Rooney is putting in right now, then he's going to get caught out as well. And everyone's going to go, well, Buchanan's not very good. We know he's good. We know Laird's good. We know Drenham's good. They're struggling because they're playing a system that they're not used to playing. That's the way it is. 
You see, yeah. if we had a manager like Tony Mowbray, right? Tony yeah. Mowbray plays the same football, and on Saturday played the same football that Rooney's trying to play. Yeah, mm. and they struggle in the back. Of the, they struggle at the back themselves a couple of yeah. times. Well, I'm not two centre backs, but struggle. sorry, Mark. I'm right you say that those two centre halves for Sunderland have never played together before. Yeah, yeah, they were not going to be going centre half. They're not even centre half. Never played at centre half. That's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. No bad I mean, the last the way to... oh. 10 or 15 minutes Go after on. we'd made our subs, Hogan had a shot at goal, uh, Jugovic had a shot at goal, and uh, Bakuna had several shots at goal, and my missus could have stopped them. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, well, I'm looking. I'm looking I'm thinking, nobody's going to score a goal for us. Yeah, you know, they were weak. They were weak efforts, not on target. He passbacks virtually passbacks. You know, we're not going to bust the net from. And it's that. That's what depresses me. You know, we get, let's realise that we've had a great. You know, we're all going about Hogan. But the two of them have given us great service over four to five years. Dukey a bit longer than that. Yeah, absolutely. Their time is done. Out, gone. Chris, Christmas time, goodbye. And get some young young, young blood in that side. Give, give, give our young striker, there's Donovan and there's this player and that guy, give them a go. Mm. Let them be on the bench. So when we when we take when we take the likes of Stanfield off and everybody's booing, they throw they throw a youngster on who apparently is it Donovan that gets all the goals in the Dixon. in the Dixon, Dixon yeah. yeah Junior Dixon yeah yeah they'll get the the, the the crowd will get behind it straight away yeah yeah and also Colin Tatum's lad as well yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we we've got yeah. these uh, I mean I'm I'm quite I I quite like Long. Uh, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, you ain't going to pick him over Awu, who's twenty three or four. Mm. You know, mm. Long's Long's thirty plus. Uh, yeah. and has done again. Has done a good job for us, but no more. You know, thank you, thanks for coming. Goodbye. Let's just we'll, buy. A, we'll, yeah, let's we'll, buy a bit more patience. Sorry, Al. Let's buy a bit more patience and see where we are come January. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I am, if he keeps trying with this system with these players between now and January, I think you said it earlier. Al, we could be. You know, the time. Just, yeah. but, but hopefully, like I said, when we start to get some more beatable teams in front of us, we can start to beat, win more. You know what I mean? Because realistically, even with John Eustace or anybody with his squad, over the last five games, we haven't really had one fixture that you would say was winnable, would you? No. Well, so I think they're all winnable, but the, the likelihood of winning them is, is I mean. yeah. diminished. Yeah. Um, but again, how many times have I mean, the performance against Ipswich was relatively good. Now, how yeah. many times in the past have we put a performance in against a decent side and then a load of rubbish comes up uh, and we drew 2-2 two, two or 1-1? One, one, uh, and well, you yeah, think, well, what's going on here? Yeah. Uh, you know, when we, when, we, when we declared at the end of the season, oh, we're safe, we're safe from relegation, we'll give the kids a chance in, <laughs> in the last three games. Usually against the Rotherhams and, and Ch Charlton we, we, a couple of years ago and we, we get hammered and you're thinking well what was the point of that you know yeah. you know these you know some of these kids ain't going to be any good because they would have been in the side before then so it's well, just it, it, it's uh, I've, I've got to be honest I fear the worst I fear the worst because you know we're not going to win all these games against the lower teams we may not lose them but you know you don't get anywhere drawing games. You've got to get three points to move up that table. And when uh, you say you fear the worst, what do you mean by that? I fear the worst that we 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 got we we by by halfway by halfway we won't have thirty points. And do There'll we, be joys and sorrows too in that famous song, and I think that's where we <laughs> need to go with hey, it. And we've oh, got to, you many, know, too many at the end of the world. Day, so the world. The day, I just want to say um, thank you for Blackburn for doing twenties plenty yeah, and Coventry. Oh, I'm not going to say any more, but for a, an under 25, so you could take your six-year-old for 25 pound to Coventry away. <laughs> And they know we're going to sell it. And I've had lots and lots of people telling me, well, don't go. 
that's not how yeah. you're going to sort this issue for me. Right. The football, the English Football League. Um, hopefully, lots and lots of people have done their survey, and they have put that it's becoming um, ridiculous with pricing thirty-seven pounds for a local derby that's on the TV near Christmas. Yeah. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous, and I have to say yeah. something because I know that a lot of other people are also yeah. complaining about it. Yeah. Now, obviously, I'm going to go, but that's my personal choice, and yeah. because I won't miss it anyway. But I think it's not fair for some people where some people struggle to go to away games. This might be the only away game they can go to. Yeah. So I just think fair play to Blackburn for keeping it twenty pound. But Coventry, I know that you don't own your own stadium and things like that. But come on. Thirty-seven pounds. Yeah. Well, you can get a telly for that in Coventry, can't you, Mark? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> get, 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 a, get, a t- get a telly and watch it with your. I'd can... say friends, but I'm going. They, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, right, no, club. seriously. Yeah. <laughs> on, on the football in front and stuff as well. I mean, you mentioned that the, the the price for Coventry, the twenty pound for for Blackburn, and I know our club reciprocates it when when those fans come down uh, and we go into it as well. I think it's it's disgusting the fact for two things as well. The game was was moved. You know, we'll still sell it out at Coventry, but the game yeah. was moved. The game was moved for TV, not for police for TV. Yeah, yeah. But as we're talking about games being moved, yet again, Birmingham City have a game moved for Boxing Day. Mm, Soaker of 5.30 kickoff is just... It, 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 it's unreal because... right, we, we, we probably will sell the stadium out. We always do around Christmas. We always do really well. We're playing Stoke. That's great. But that kickoff time, it ruins Christmas... To some no, yeah, you know what, okay. family. It's There's bad. A lot, yeah. There are a lot of Stoke fans around here, and I was talking to a few downstairs last uh, last night, and they are saying, and we are saying, this is family time. Yeah, you absolutely. know, we're all very busy people. <laughs> we go to work for very long hours, and we don't mm-hmm. spend enough time with our families. And the only time that we get to spend with our families is the time that you want to go to the football. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy world. Yeah. And it also, it also means the yabos can spend all day, all day drinking. Alan, all that was another, another topic of question yesterday. All day. Oh. And we, I, I, you know, oh, you want to take your grandkids, their lounge kids, to, to, to the football. And would you risk it? Would you risk it? It depends where your seat is, I suppose. But you know what I mean? Mm. It, it's, a, it's, a lot of t- it's a time when people take their kids to a football match for the first time. Mm. Or it's a Christmas treat. And yeah. you know you got kid, ten and eleven year olds watching watching things get thrown and you know people fighting and you know that it's just it's just lunacy lunacy and I once, I once asked a TV person uh, and it was we we were we were we had our game moved at Gillingham to a Friday night and I I wrote a letter to Sky Sports whoever it was and uh, you know what they said. You can stop at home and watch it. You don't have to go all the way down the M the, the M twenty five to Gillingham. You can stop at home and watch it on the telly. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. At least, to... at least it hasn't been moved away from Boxing Day, which we've had the last couple of years as well. I've got to admit, but I do feel sorry for the people behind me. So I have the disabled supporters behind me who we get on really well with. Mm. And a lot of them are struggling to get to games because they're not three o'clock on a Saturday. And yeah. I think Sky have not put them into any consideration. Night games, okay, they understand. But moving it to 5.15, I totally agree with you guys. I just think... Well, what's that the central of the disabled supporters, I've got to say, uh, well done to Steve Portland, uh, seven years of chairman of the uh, Accessi Blues. Um, well, well done to Sunshine, you know, on the, uh, lovely man, friend of the show. On the Boxing Day side of things as well, let's also not forget, you know, we're not just talking about a late kickoff time, but it's Boxing Day. So, number one, there are no trains. No, um, no, yeah, number two, it could be snowing. Yeah. The buses, two, it could be snowing. buses are awful. Buses, no I don't think there's there's buses at a very very reduced service after six o'clock. Yeah, so um, so uh, uh, taxis and everybody else are going to be making a fortune because they'll be charging more because it's Boxing Day. Mm-hmm. Or mm-hmm. people just go to the game 
uh, and don't have a drink, or worst case scenario, they don't go at all. Mm-hmm. And this is the thing, right? It puts people off. So, you know, when it comes to discussions with the clubs, I've got one question for the club, which I'm hoping at some point they will answer, and that is, who dictates who goes on TV? Because if Sky have the power to dictate a team must play at this time, then Sky own the club. Now, that, that's that's fine, okay. We're Sky doing the police. Paying to the club. Um, listen, if we move that from this time to that time, there's 20 grand in it for you. Mm. 20 grand's not, yeah, but do you know what? I'd rather have a full stadium and fans there than 20 grand in my pocket. Mm. I, I, I simply cannot accept that they turn the TV for a payment. There has to be something else behind it. And we've had too many games already changed. Well, yeah, but like, what else could we be on? Rooney effect for you. It's the ro- yes, exactly. Yeah. It's the Rooney effect. Right. As soon as he right. came Claire, in, we've been on TV once every yeah. couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Claire, I missed what you said originally, sorry. It's been the Rooney effect. Yep. Yeah. Because they yeah. literally Sky Sports have never ever even when we're in the Premier League, even when we're in Europe, mm. they have bother. never had us so much mm. on. Like that's I've right, never yeah. seen it no. so much. I think that's what it is. No. Rooney's job he, he, and the hedge fund, their job was to increase revenue, and they've done it. Yeah. Full stop. Well, that, that's yeah, but is that is that our expense, though, Chris? Our, exactly. our, our emotions. Yeah. Our, I didn't want to yeah, say that. We go for it. Huh? <laughs> I didn't want to say that, but yeah, I'm I'm guessing. No, no, no. I know. appreciate you saying it, mate. Leaves will get yeah, changed yeah. next, anyway. So be aware. New Year's Day. Yeah. Can you imagine that yeah. changing too? Yeah. In the end, that's what it's. And that less that around. Leicester game will be like a circus. Oh. To set the way. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Can't wait for that. Yeah. One. Hey, Craig. Can we talk a positive now and? Uh, the Blues ladies winning again yesterday. Yeah. We can, but I also want to say hi to Robbo, who has joined us and he's, he's watching the show at the moment. Oh, oh, he's missed all Robo. the compliments Robo. on the message board. So, uh, <laughs> Come back, Robbo. Come back, Robbo. Um, so, yes, the, the, the ladies, we the, the continued winning streak, um, a great and very hard-fought results uh, down at London Lionesses at the weekend. Um, and, and not just that, what was even better was the fact that the teams above us who seem to have been flying and everybody was like, no, we don't got Kane, Owls, Jans, and et cetera, et cetera. They slipped up. So now we're just four points, four points off the top of the table with those teams to play. And the run and the, I think the whole mentality that this team have got at the moment is, is brilliant. Um, huge well done to Lucy Quinn being named the Barclays Championship Player of the Month. Uh, for, for last month and the trophy was handed over by Carts and the team during a, a team meeting um, whether it was a tongue in cheek statement or not but one thing she turned around she went this isn't just for me this is for the team and to hear that is is brilliant we've got another game tough game the weekend against Durham at St Andrews you know I say it every week but please I'd love to see more faces down there you know these ladies are working hard and they're, they're pushing our club forwards. They're getting us recognised, not just on the league status, but the international status now. You know, we've got loads of international players in our squad. We've got a wicked rapport between the fans that go and the games when, when they're down at St Andrews. There's a totally different atmosphere. You know, we could get a thousand, if not more, down there for the, for the next game. Just love to see many people going and we have got tickets as Tilton Talk to give away, right? Mm-hmm. If you want tickets to take your family to a day, and it is a family day, okay. please let us know. We'll get those tickets distributed, but they're there to use, there to get people down there, and the kids love it. So let's see more people down there help Daz and the team continue this unbeaten run and climb in that league. And, and you know what? Women's Super League, why couldn't we do it? And let's, let's go for it. Yeah. What? It's good value for money as well. I mean, yesterday's match lasted 115 minutes. So, yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, that is a lot. Yeah. Should we come on now then to our top five managers? We've got, um, yeah. Yep. We, we, we <laughs> have five weeks, and we're now on to the final week where we want our viewers to vote for our best ever manager. <laughs> so, just to reiterate, number five, 
Mm. Going to help me out here. Terry Cooper. Number five, Terry. number five was Terry Cooper. Terry Cooper, yeah. Number four was... Barry Fry, was it? Barry Fry. Number yeah. three was Jim Smith. Jim yeah. Smith. Yeah. And number two was Steve Bruce. Yeah. Alex McLeish. Very good win. Is that yours, Mark, yeah? No, McLeish, yeah. Yeah, very good with my balls. Yeah, I think he did the most. It's got to be. It's got to be McLeish. It's got to be. Mm, yeah, so, same, that's same what our viewers think. Yeah, same, same with me. I'm, I'm going to have to go for McLeish. Uh, Great. You're nearly as old as me, for crying out loud. So. Yeah. <laughs> I think, you yeah. know, based on that ninth place yeah. Premier League finish and obviously winning the League Cup. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's got it. And hard, and hard to agree, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So, I mean, well, you know, it's got to be a long time for that. Yeah. what he did. Yeah. I think I mean Bruce. Bruce was my number one before before last week. Bruce was my number one because I think he he. And Trevor Francis isn't even in there. Steps on that. No, no. So it's just it's strange. Some of the names you know overall that that aren't there that gave us the, mm. the good mm. times. You know, prior to to any probably of us mm. and watching the times down at. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, car, if I couldn't you see? Yeah. Well, I mean. Yeah, Bruce would be my number one. To but... Bukhari, he, he is actually operating in Stoke. Uh, he's got a big. Um, Cost. Uh, like, like yeah, he does. He does, he does so the, he's doing a massive amount of work there. So yeah, he does. He does the pods, doesn't he, for the home? Alex McLeish yeah, is absolutely uh, winning this by oh, Yeah, nobody, I can't, I can't nobody's see. voting for anybody else. No, no. There was no, one, yeah. one, one for TF at the beginning, but that's it. Yeah, I'd loved it to have been Sir Alf Ramsey, to be honest with you. Hmm. Tre- Tre- Trevor would be my top five personally, but obviously I don't remember Jim Smith. But you know, being my top five, Trevor. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So it does look. He so was good. the most unluckiest manager at the club. In terms I believe of so. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Absolutely. Yeah. Team that was performing and never got the rubber degree, um, mm. and ultimately his team that was promoted with with Steve Bruce. Yeah. Taking, yeah. Yeah, I'm taking feedback off Jason Hughes here, and he's got a good point. So we should have done a one to five, not a five to one, as it hasn't stacked up. So. On the next subject, starting next week, mm. we'll do a one to five. Right, okay. And yeah, McLeish is heads and tails above the yeah, people. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim, Jim Toner, yeah, I, 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 he's <laughs> just said Steve Cutshaw because he's a legend in his own mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, heads and tails is McLeish uh, coming through this one. Yeah, the same, yeah. Same, okay. same, the same. You know what? I, 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 still, well, I yeah. still feel really sorry for Cox as well. When he came on the, on on the show, my God, he came through as a very passionate man, didn't he? Who's this? Lee Clark. Yeah, Lee Clark. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lee yeah. Clark was, yeah, yeah. The yeah, passion. He got you. He got it. He got. He got. He got the passion. It's Lee Clark. will come on here. I've watched it. Yeah, that night. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> he, he got the passion. But he probably just hadn't got the the the, the know how to push it that little bit further. Mm, yeah, mm. No, lovely guy, but lovely guys don't make good managers. Yeah. Half the time, right. yeah, but no, I think um, you know I, 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 it's hard to disagree with Alex McLeish anyway. So that, I think that sorts that out, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Was, uh, squad, game, squad game, squad game, game. Yeah, yeah. So a squad game, and uh, we'll stick with the the routine yeah. of squad numbers followed by goal scorers from the uh, the same year. Um, okay. So uh, this time around is the nineteen ninety nine two thousand season. Um, which uh, we're talking Trevor there he's, he was in charge and we finished fifth in the league so what I want to know is can you name the two players that played with squad number 22 in that season and the two players that played squad number 24 that season and finally the two players that played 29 that season Ooh, what season so, 1999, 2000, and squad numbers 22, 24, and 29. Wasn't hold to us 24? No, six. No, six. 24. Oh. Wasn't Addy Bowler, was he? He was the season after in 24, because 10 was, uh, Dealey was 10 that season, wasn't it? Uh, Dealey was 10 that season, yes. 22. Was Christopher Ray one of the 22s? No. Oh. Nantara? No. Jerry Gill? No, he was 23. Yeah, Jenny was 23. Oh, no. Is no, I, 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 I ranking? No. We've actually mentioned tonight one of the players that played. Oh, Carrick. Michael Carrick. Michael Carrick is one of those 22, yeah. Who was the other one? Yeah, I mean, Johnson, 
Go on, Mark. Sorry. Uh, AJ. Yeah, AJ. AJ wore 26, didn't he? So he's the 26 one, I think. Yeah. He is. But well, we didn't ask for 26. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll have him as well. <laughs> yeah, we'll just, we'll just chuck him into the equation. Yeah, 22, 24, 29. Eddie Newton. Oh. Eddie Newton, one of them. Nope. Blimey. He's got me here. Yeah, it's a tough one, this one. Can't believe what I'm hearing. <laughs> I mean, um, I'm, yeah, I'm, Chris, you're recording this. We can't Mark Adams, you know stuff. what's going to happen in a minute, right? I don't have my phone on me, but I'm going to get every one of these probably right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to have a go with Alan Johnston, the winger. Oh my God. Normally yeah. you two carry us. Come on, we need yeah, help here. I'm yeah. going to say my camera's going off in a minute. What about what about Graham Hyde? No. No, 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 no. I'm just going to look as I know what I'm talking about and, and yeah, I'm really just thinking like about <laughs> we're just naming the whole could, squad now just random be. names aren't we mm. oh, you know, what, what, what are you going to do what are you going to do Chris is you're going to look like that you, you've seen the answers yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> it, it was the season that we wore the Tesco carrier bag shirt wasn't it, it, it was was Barnsley. We, we lost to Barnsley didn't we Auto in Winston. the playoffs yeah. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. a reduce no nope. before 28 <laughs> See, I know, yeah. I know, I know loads of these, but I don't know twenty-two, <laughs> twenty-four, or twenty-nine. The two midfielders, one was um, the bald eddy bloke from Southampton or went to Southampton. Oh, Marston, Marston, Marston. He was gone by then. Huh? He's already gone by then. Now, what about uh, Martin? Uh, the other midfielder? Martin huh? O'Connor. He was number eight. Martin That's O'Connor. Two. Yeah, he went. He went that high. Um, I'm just trying to think of lone players. You know what? I think, did you say 29 on one of them? 29 is one of them, yeah. Wasn't he the goalkeeper that uh, Myra? Oh, Myra, Thomas Myra. No. You're, <laughs> right, with, you're right with goalkeeper, oh, but you're oh. wrong with the name. Kevin, Kevin Paul. Paul. Kevin Paul. Don't keep your own, keep your own the shirt box. Benny. People as well. yeah, 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 no, yeah. and no. Alan and Kelly, no. Alan Kelly. No. Well, I've got a really good year here. I'm loving this one. You got me here. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. nobody. I think your source is wrong, Craig. But ranking? N- oh no, I was going to say Nico. I, I, I honestly thought Myra wore twenty nine that year. Yeah. <clears throat> so I can oh, tell you, Kevin Miller, that the two players playing twenty two squad number to help out were both midfield, and you've already got Carrick from a twenty nine perspective. You've got one of them saying it was a goalkeeper. The other one was a defender. And then for 24, one of them was a forward and the other was a midfielder. Jeremy Pollock, is he one of them? No. Oh, Jason Hughes, that's a good effort. John Beresford. John Beresford is indeed the help. defender playing number 29. Well, good knowledge. Good. Nice one. Stuart Campbell. And for Thomas Meyer, by the way. 22, wasn't he? Uh, Jack, uh, what about Jack Williams? Jack Williams, no. Tressel Luntala. Stuart Campbell was one of them. Who said that? Hip kiss? Stuart Campbell was no, one of them. Stuart Campbell off Russell Reese. I'm not taking any credit for that. Russell Reese. Stuart <laughs> Campbell is the one of the midfielders playing number 24. So again, great knowledge. Oh, wow. This is solid this week, isn't it? Yeah. I'm impressed with the fact that our our viewers have got more than us. Than our panel yeah. this week, which is some going. Yeah. 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 How many have we got left now? How many got left to get? Uh, so you've still got... In one of number 22, you've got one of 24, and you've got one of 29. Can you describe, can you, can you describe what he looks like? Footballer. <laughs> <laughs> right, he has no marks. There are many of them. Eyes. Two arms and a head. Yeah, one obvious. of them had a green sock on and played in goal. Yeah. There you go, Mark. Green and goal. Right. That's died. narrowed it down, isn't it? Yeah. Didn't Brian uh, Hughes come in late that season and would have had a high number? No, Hughes was four that season. He'd already been with us a couple of years, hadn't he? He signed from Wrexham in 97, was it? 96? Yeah. After yeah it was oh, earlier than that. Okay. Oh, yeah, just the FA Cup and he signed the week after then, didn't he? Yeah. The was uh, yeah. Hang on, you're the, the goal. You know the, so, Craig, you know the goalie? You know the yeah, goalie? Did he, you have to have Ginger Air? Ginger. I couldn't tell you what colour hair he's got. <laughs> Ian Bennett. Was Thomas Meyer. Gary Black Spray. Spray. <laughs> Thomas, Thomas Meyer did play 29. However, it's not the goalkeeper that I'm looking for. Ah. Uh, mm, Who Furlong, yeah. the people, a couple of people have gone for Furlong, no? Oh, well, 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 um, 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 
Tyler. No. Brian Tyler. No. Oh, Carl Tyler. Carl Tyler. Carl Tyler. Yeah. John Bass. Colin, Colin Doyle, was it? Like a really young Colin kid. Doyle, no. Richard Knight. Said Russell. Uh, uh, say, say that again, Chris, sorry. Uh, Richard Knight, said uh, Russell Reese. Russell Reese is correct. Uh, well that done, is Russell Paul Cooper Reece. in number 29. Who? Who? Yes. Never heard of him. Did you have to interrupt? I'm with you. Mark, you need to research this ginger haired goalkeeper. So I've got a clue what you're talking I've never, about. I've never heard of him. Did he play a first team game? Uh, no. no. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to research this. He played for Burton Albion, Derby County, Carlisle, Birmingham, Hull, Macclesfield, Oxford. Well, hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 Craig. You just said he didn't play a first team game. So he didn't play for Birmingham. Isn't He's got a squad, squad number. number. That's the game. It's squad the game. game. Squad game. Sure. Yeah. 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 This is when he is a squad game, he is a player, but he never actually played. But oh, then he we might got be played. Oh, 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 here we go. And if he did play, he would have played one of him. You've difficult. mentioned a couple of the players as well, just so you're aware. Tresh and Latana yeah. was number 34 <laughs> that season. Um, I also heard somebody else mention Christopher Ray. He was number 32. That season, Lazaridis was number twenty-eight for that one that was shouted out. So, who's the other ones we missed there? Uh, number twenty-two midfielder, Chris Holland. Oh, somebody oh. said that. Oh, someone said that in the shout box. Ah, and L- Lilypad, sorry. Ah, well done, Lilypad. Mm-hmm. So, number twenty-four, the forward, Howard Forenson. Forenson. Oh. Hey, he's a te- he's a teacher now in Coventry. Is and it? you've got all yeah. of the 29s. No, okay. No. That was good this week, Craig. It was a good it was one. Good yeah, this yeah. Was that was really so, good. That was a good one, yeah. yeah. Goal scoring. Brilliant. Twice. Players that don't believe. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we start off, and it's Brian Hughes has been mentioned, actually. So so we'll start off with Brian Hughes. He scored 10 goals in the season that, uh, that year. So um, Paul Furlong, mm. higher or lower. In the 99-2000 season, higher or lower than 10? Lower. lower. That, was the year, that was the year lower. that my son fell over <clears throat> in the outside the main stand and Paul Furlong picked him up and took him to the medics and he he, he was just that happy that he could see the grass. <laughs> he forgot mm. about the good on his knee. Bless him. I'm lower. saying better or lower. Lower. I'm saying, I reckon he got about 11 or 12. I'm going higher. We're going higher. Higher. I think he got a hat trick at Bolton that season, if I remember. It was higher, and it was eleven goals in the league. So uh, oh. good, good knowledge there. Um, so we'll move Sorry, on. Sorry, good uh, guess. Good guess. <laughs> Marcelo. Oh, lower. Okay. Go lower. Lower. That was lower, the season, yeah. season he signed. Yeah, it would have been lower. He only got about eight, didn't he? If that, uh, it is. It is lower, and it was actually only five goals five. in the league. Um, John McCarthy, higher or lower than five? Lower. Lower. You didn't get I'll many, say, did they? I'm going to say higher six. I'm going six. Yeah, I'm, go- I'm going to go six. I promise oh, you. I'm going to I don't think he. Yes, yeah, I've actually got two. No. I think I remember him getting the winner at Norwich away that season. Mm. Cutting on his oh. left and by lovely in the top corner. Claire, good knowledge with four goals. That's Ooh. actually how many he scored in that particular season. Well done, Gibbers. Well done. Well done. <laughs> uh, Last two. Good guess. Here we go. So, Dealey had a boner. Hiya. Seven. Yeah. Dealey had a load of goals. <laughs> <laughs> Save it. That's good. Oh, I reckon, I reckon, I reckon slightly lower. In four. In four. I reckon he got oh, more. Oh, sorry. No, I was thinking of ten. Ignore me. Sorry. No. Hiya. Yeah, I'll go higher. Hiya. He scored five. So, I've got three. Out of four this week, yeah. it's, this to me is my FA Cup final. Yeah. <laughs> we did, we did going, going back to these days, we did split the goals, didn't we? Across the team, yeah. this, the, the goal scoring in this yeah. one was absolutely immense. This, this particular yeah. season, um, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the last one I had on my list, and then I'm gonna chuck in a bonus one afterwards. So, the uh, the last player is uh, a Sire ranking, oh, so higher really? or lower than Dealey's five. 
Can I get yeah. four out of five lower? Six higher. Oh, he Brody's coming in lower. Uh, Not one agrees. Four goals. Oh. Hey, four out of five for me. Useless. So the bonus for a bonus point, David Holdsworth, right. higher or lower than four? Lower. I mean, it's not quite a few. Oh, yeah, I think he's. I know we got. The, I know we got the winner against Wolves when we won one. Yeah. Where Martin, Martin O'Connor got sent off, didn't he? he smacked, yeah, he got the win. Yeah, the header. Yeah. yeah. He got a few with his head. Higher for me. Uh, higher for me. I reckon the same. He's not I'm saying same. the same. No same in this game, Roby. <laughs> no, 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 I had to take out the sames, bro. Sorry, you're oh, behind no. the times. Has he got? Did he have ginger hair? <laughs> 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 Number, goal, number 29. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can confirm Claire's knowledge again. He's she's on oh, form tonight because he did actually score five goals. What's she drinking? I, I looked, I haven't even looked because I'm sat on my hands. So, last one to really test the knowledge. I'm sorry, I've got to do this one. So, okay. in that season, there were four players who all scored five goals you've named three of those in David Holdsworth Dele Adebola and Marcelo who was the other player to score five goals in the league that season Granger you know what Mark was going to say exactly the same Martin Granger no. mm -hmm. might be Darren Purse you know oh, somebody else Ooh. Granger as well could be Darren Purse that could because uh, he took penalties. Is that the season he started taking penalties as well? I'm saying it's not Percy. Mm. He only scored two. Or, or it could be Jono. It's also not Jono. He only scored two. Then it is Granger. It is Martin Granger. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. I feel yeah. good. Do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, I, I, got a, I enjoyed that this week. That, that was that was a good one. That was so uh, well yeah. done. I've done Craig. It was harder than normal. Craig, you've done well, though. Craig, Craig. Well, well done to everyone on the show. Box have not, okay, box yeah. is amazing. Craig, well. hmm? I promise you, you have not enjoyed it as much as I have enjoyed it. And I think I'm going to learn the rules <laughs> next week. Yeah. There we yeah. go. Well yeah, no pressure. I've got to find a harder one next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. We're in the last 15 minutes, lovely. What have we got this week? Oh, what have we got? That is the question. <laughs> that is the question. And I'm going to remember it. If I can get a few more hordes <laughs> in it. It's in fact. Isn't what? it football and bakeries? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Football and what? Bakeries. Ba Baker, bakeries. Yeah. A bakery. All right. Bakery. Okay, put one on the bakery. Crikey. Oh, well, I'm going to kick start you with Mark Warburton. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Well done. That's Straight a good one, isn't it? In. Well done. Come and do Sterling Ham Sandwich. No, it's not to do with a bakery. I'm going to go for Deli Adebola. Deli Adebola. <laughs> what about Aust Austin Crusty? <laughs> the best bit was the laugh at the end. <laughs> yeah. I've just got it. I'm really slow. Oh, I've right? not wet myself for a long time. <laughs> really? I can't really? believe that, Nick. <laughs> uh, so we've uh, we've had a few coming through already. So Joe Tart, Frankie Bun, <laughs> we had uh, Nicky Bun. Uh, <laughs> Benji Smith said uh, add a bowl of bread. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, Doe Nat Laft House from Ray Hobler. Uh, Lilypad has gone for the Tilton turnovers. <laughs> Mark Morgan has gone for Noel Bake. Oh. Jason Hughes, he's been thinking about this again way too much because he said Getty Atelli. Oh. Um, I am not going to even Bang think time. about it. coming up with that one. Michael Hughes, I'm sorry. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> uh, Tim Flower from Ray Autumn. Oh, yeah. uh, and Tim Flower as well from uh, from Mummy Giblin. Hiya, Mummy Giblin. Hi, Mummy Giblin. <laughs> Mummy Giblin. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, Cake Taylor from Ray Hobro. Ryan Greggs oh, from yes. Steve Portman. Liking that one as well. Steve. Uh, Steve. And I was desperately trying to think of that one. <laughs> Jim Jim Tony has gone for hotter chocolate eclair. No. Oh, look at Paul Hanson. Uh, 
Paul Hansen, very good indeed. Alex Govan. Oven. Alex oh, Oven. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, Alex Oven. You've got to think about it. Oven. Govan. Govan. <laughs> Alex Govan. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. 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 Uh, Paul McCarthy has said, uh, "What about Otto Space Cakes?" <laughs> mm. uh, I'm going to go, go for Eclair Giblin. <laughs> <laughs> <That's a> good... <laughs> yeah. uh, Michael Woods has said, "Bernard Sun Blessed." <laughs> mm. uh, Dom Kavanagh, Cream Barry Horn, <laughs> Mother's Pride Park. Ray <laughs> oh, Hobro's definitely on fire this it evening is, with Vince uh, Turnoverson. Very clever. Yeah, good. Well done, Ray. Well done. And uh, Benji Smith has also gone with Marlon Kingsmill. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Hughes has said George best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Uh, Don Cavanaugh has said Jim Bagley. Bagel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, Peter, Pete Taylor, Chris Mighty White. We've had uh, John Scones from <laughs> Ray Hopper. <laughs> uh, Noel Cake really? from uh, Jim Tono. Uh, oh, Mommy Giblin's winning with It's a Long, Long Rocky Road. Oh, <laughs> Mommy Giblin. <laughs> That's decent, that one. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Up there. That is Michael right. Brainbread from uh, Warren Was a Starling. Declan Ice Fingers from Lilypad. <laughs> uh, so Steve Portman. Brock Cags Madston. Brock Cags Madston. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, uh, Mike Guy has said Matt Go Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like it. I'm going to go Tim Flower. Uh, on YouTube, Paul Tart. Oh, Lee Marion needs to explain this one. We're talking about bakeries, and he's come up with Tony Cotton Candy Floss. Who <laughs> <laughs> is that? <laughs> it's certain some person called Lee Marion. I'm not too sure who he is, oh, but uh, he needs to come up with a better one than that. The, the drugs haven't kicked in. I think. What about Daily? What about Daily Other Donuts? <laughs> yeah, he had a big one. What about uh, Pizza Doherty? Oh, Alan came in with one there. No, Doherty. Alan's and we have Sergio Biscuits. <laughs> Pardon? Biscuits. Biscuits, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, biscuits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have macaroni. Macaroni. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mark macaroni. Morgan has also mm. said Howard Kendall Mint Cake. No, that's a confectionery. That's not bakery. Suck it mm. immediately. Uh, <laughs> and what about, what about Andy Meal Lake? <laughs> what about Meal Deal Etheridge? <laughs> oh, you've been saving that Mark, one. Mark, right. Your punishment tonight is to walk round the ring road in I commentary. Like that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, blow me. Tony uh, Layton has said Mark Apple turnover, Mars. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Rowe has gone with Kevin De Brownie. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, Benji Smith, Mark Hot Cross Bun. We've okay. also had Dee had a bowl of flour. Oh, yeah, but like. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We could go on forever with that one. Did you get a bowl of sugar? Did you get a bowl of yeast? Yeah. Did you get a bowl of... <laughs> Craig Shortbread from Paul Hansen. Uh, Did you have Egg uh, David? Egg. 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 Like yeah. Subliminal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like a book with eggs and a bakery, Mark. Come on. Who? Yeah, of course. Me? Baker. Great. Yeah, Great. Yeah, Great. 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 Teaching. They're not allowed to use English eggs, are they, in America? <laughs> no, oh, they're yeah. Not. They're allowed. They're no. not allowed to use English uh, eggs. They're banned. Yeah. So, oh. Jason Hughes has also said, Danny Sticky Toffee Puddings. <laughs> 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 We've got Jordan Jams Donuts from Warren Was a Stalin again. Uh, we've got uh, Steve Jobs has said, what about pizza or pizza or love? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> leg custard from Don Kavanagh. Leg custard. Yeah. Paul custard. McCartney. Andy Leg. <laughs> Paul McCartney. Pep clotted cream. <laughs> Pep clotted cream. Clotted. Yeah, yeah, like that. God, it's gone over Nick's head, that one has, yeah, but that, that, really that's uh, definitely up there. There is uh, some amazingly sad, beautiful people out there. <laughs> Uh, John Fountain has said talk about the club I think he's not been with us for the last one and a half hours 
Michael Woods has said Jasper carrot cake. Mm, oh, yeah. I like that one. That is brilliant. That's a good one. Or, or plain and simply, what about a Chelsea bun from Don Kavanagh? Simple. Have we got yeah, John Kavanagh's. Uh, John Kavner is simple. <laughs> Going back onto the team then, have we got Buchanan and um, George Hall back against Sheffield Wednesday? Is there a good chance of that? Yeah. I think there's a good George chance, Hall, I think. Got a chance. They're in the squad on Saturday, weren't they? Hall was then. Mm. Hall wasn't. Oh, I thought Hall, Hall travelled, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. He travelled, uh, Adam, yeah. Wilkes, Adam Wilkes has stepped in with uh, Daly out of Bakewell. Well done, Adam. Uh, and uh, also somebody called Mr. Robe, I've seen one with Brady Hugh. How? Freddie Howe. Freddie Howe. No, that's good on that, is it? Is it? Oh, was it mine? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, God. And uh, when we well, click our was... fingers, you will wake up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Wasn't, wasn't there a player called Paul Bakewell? Played for Man City. Yeah. Bracewell. Yeah. Bracewell, yeah. Bracewell, Bracewell, Everton. But I'm sure there was a Bakewell as well. I'm sure there was. Bracewell. I think he was exceedingly he was. good. He was? <laughs> hey. <laughs> I, 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 funnily enough, I, saw, I met Paul Bracewell not last summer, the summer before at an airport when we were going to Malta. Yeah, his autograph. No, he asked for no, mine. He asked, him, he asked him for a suitcase as a yeah. bit of merchandise. Yeah, I yeah. started shaking up and down. You got any, mer- you got any memorabilia? <laughs> no, he's, 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 like, um, he's like an academy coach. At, um, uh, I think he's at Spurs, an academy coach, and he saw he just saw my blues like badge on my jacket. Yeah, and now there's a quick chat with him. Nice yeah. guy. As close as I'll get to a friend, anyway. <laughs> well, my, random, my, my, random, my random story like that is uh, I bumped into David Howells on the train on my way back. Oh, did you? Me. Yeah. The old yeah, physio, the old number... Yeah. yeah. He used to play for Tottenham, Tottenham midfield. Oh, him. Played, played, yeah. yeah, David Howells played for Tottenham and Southampton, played with, like, Gazza and Lineker in the 91 yeah, yeah. team. Yeah, he was on his way. Oh, I, won't where, I won't tell you where he was travelling to. He was travelling to watch Tottenham at a certain ground up the road. Uh, oh, okay. So uh, yeah, but we were on our way back from London, and he was on the train with his mate. So uh, we got we, we, we got we got like a, obviously a two hour journey in it. So we got yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we got dad said, my dad said for the older ones, Johnny Dofield. Like it. And again, one of the older ones, not not massively older though, but Paul Bryant has come up with Bruce Cobbler. Uh, uh, risk of a lot, yeah. Uh, Flip Jack Cholton, Robin Van Poy. That's not bad. That's not bad. One. Graham Hyde, the chocolate cake. <laughs> has, 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 Nick, has Nick gone to a bakery just to look at the menu? Yeah. Have <laughs> 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 yeah, you any figures? Of just... yeah, so Michael uh, Paul Battenberg. <laughs> uh, or Paul Battyberg, sorry, from uh, Don Kavanagh. David Battyberg, isn't it? Mm-hmm. He was a good player. Do we need to get predi- yeah, predictions in quickly? We've got we're going to <laughs> for the we got... this week. Should we do what about an England prediction? Oh. Yeah, go on then. Yeah. Who are they playing? Um, Malta. Malta. I reckon 4-0. Oh, no. I'll go 4-0 as well. 4-0. I'm going 5. I, I, I fancy us for a handful. Mm-hmm. Um, did anybody notice that uh, Jude didn't play the weekend? He's out until so after the international break. Oh, yeah, he's out. Yeah, yeah. He so won't be playing for England, will he? No, he's no, in the squad. No, he's yeah, in the squad. He has to pull out the squad. Oh, nice. Right. Well, I, sh- I shan't watch if he's not playing anyway. So. Don't then. He won't miss you. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to miss him. Where's Nick going? Oh, Sky clever. Will. Michael Hughes has said, because we're talking internationals, he's having Malta loaf. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he can have Jamaica cake and everything. Yeah. Yeah, this this could be for next time. Last fifteen football and countries. Yeah, right, and John Cherry Bakewell has come through. Uh, we've got loads of score lines. Uh, Steve Portman said six nil. Martin Furphy said six one. Paul Hansen six nil. Andrew Boxall six nil. Uh, John Bloor four one. Jason Hughes six nil. Benji Smith four nil. Warren was starting five nil. We just, uh, we just said uh, England 4 0 and Blues 2 Sheffield Wednesday 0. That'd be nice. Smith has gone with Japan cake. I'll, I'll have a prediction of the girls win 2 0 against Donna. 3 0 for the women. Oh, 1 0 against the women. As well. I reckon 1 0. Uh, and can I just say that on Thursday evening, please keep an eye on social media. Yeah. I will be putting some posts out from the award ceremony up at Anfield, which we will all be in attendance for, uh, for those that are that are going. 
and you know, watch not going, it's your, yeah, your yeah. theatre. The most important to go. I'm go it's not Sound of Music I'm going to, it's uh, The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> but I, sh I, sh I shall have my phone nearby. No, we're looking, we're all looking for it. Well, we remember last time we went out with Chris and, uh, and the yeah. other one, of course, is Teleboy, eh? which yeah. will never be published. I, mm. I've, I've got this, I've got this horrible dream, as it's at Danfield, right? I've got this mm. dream where, where the guy announces that the winners, by a vast majority, are uh, the Tilton Talk Show from Birmingham. And then a, a little bloke in the corner by the cop gets his flag and sticks it up and rules us off side, the whole lot. <laughs> VAR. Yeah. Oh, VAR. Come on. David Ellery's there to stop it. Yeah. 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 Uh, right, okay, we've got a, a minute or so. Let's just quickly really discuss VAR. It's having a lot of issues at the minute. Crikey, what's going well, it's on? There's not enough time with VAR. Yeah. Yeah, no, we, need, we need a whole show on that maybe yeah. next week. International yeah. VAR, Why do they have to make it so complicated? I mean... You know, you watch the Champions League, you watch the you know the World Cup last year, and it was nowhere near this complicated, was it? No, it was quite smooth, wasn't it? Yeah. But the ball well, well, We need a whole show on it. So, oh, yeah. here we are. A uh, eight o'clock in the evening, ladies and gentlemen. This has been the Talk Show. Yeah. Uh, happy birthday, Bo Brummy, the cat. Eight years old today. God bless her. Oh, little baby girl. Two minutes left. You are sorry? I've got two minutes left. Talking about yeah, but by the time I finish, oh, talking, yeah. it'll be two minutes will be gone. Won't it? And he's, he's not introduced anyone yet. He's still going to say bye to everyone. Oh, <laughs> no. That's all these drivel. You know what? There is that. Isn't there? Mm -hmm. I was going to just put in there that we'd had Diego Maradona as uh, <laughs> one of the things through from uh, from Chris Rowe, uh, mm -hmm. and Elizabeth Allen has just simply put blues, blues, blues up the Claire Giblin. Pardon? Ghiblin's got her own Thanks, fan club, well, ladies and gents. Yeah. Well, I didn't say anything. It's a Ghiblin fan club. <laughs> Hashtag up the Ghiblin. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere I'm not, we go. I'm not having that one on my shirt. But <laughs> <laughs> Where's Mr. Rose? Jason Hughes, Mr. Rose's fan club is still next week, but Jason Hughes <laughs> said in the last 15 next week, can he have Delia de Bovar? I don't get that one. No, no, no. Delia de Bovar for next week. Oh, yeah. I know you're red player, don't worry. Okay. Are we on next week? Oh, right. <laughs> break. Well, I suppose it really depends on how well we do on Thursday. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> you know, I don't mind. I don't mind. Everybody else is up. Oh, I'm man. Thanks for doing week. Okay, so we'll, oh, thanks, we'll have the A team on the. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Well, it is time goodbye. to say goodbye. I, I did have a whole two minutes of sleep that's been destroyed. Oh, now. thank Great. God for that. Uh, so it's uh, it's goodbye from uh, good night, Chris Brand. Good night. Good night, Mark Adams. Uh, good night, everyone. Have a good, good night, Peggy Blin. Good night. Have a good week. Good night, Mark Meredith. Good night, all. Keep right on. Good night, Craig Courtney. Good night, everyone. Come on, England, and keep right on. Good night, Paul Hipkiss. Good night, all. And good night, Mark. Beautiful, wonderful person, the chairman of the board, Alawato. Good night, all. Oh, Happy to be seventeenth? Question mark. <laughs> good night, Mark Robe. You didn't forget anybody. Seriously, good, good night, Mark. Boys. Good night. Good see you again. <laughs> good night, Jim Bob. Thanks for coming. Good night. That's all right. Good night, Chris Brown. Good night, Jim Bob. See you first. Good night, everybody. Good night, Mama. Good night, Good night, Papa. Been the same. Back to that game. It's not the same, is it? Oh, no. Which one? Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's bring the sign back as well. Yeah. Aaron Stemson said night night. Oh. oh. And Martin I'm sure that goalie goal. had ginger hair, you know. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Fire! Can we all wear a ginger wig next week, please? Good and much. Oh. Hey. Who? History maker, not history maker. Good night, good night, John Boy. Never play, but if he did play, he would have played. <laughs> Hi, Mark. We never said bye to you earlier. Bye, thank you. See you, Mark. See you, Mark. It's Hi, Mark. Mark all the way from the United States Hi, of America. Mark. Thank you, guys. What are your hair, Ginger? Got <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> the poor hip kiss going on. <laughs> and you've got the stubble. 
My hair's like a tennis ball. I've got four in a snot up each nostril. Do you know that? 